Welcome to Amazing Buys, where we discuss shopping, fragrance, and do reviews. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe, and let's see what's new at Target. Starting off in the dollar spot section, they had a lot of camping items. I went camping for the first time last year for Sukkot, and it was so fun. So it's interesting to see all of this stuff. I definitely am going to go more often. So they have postcards, they have iron-on patches, sticker books, and they even have some candles. Now, I didn't individually go through these and smell these because I didn't want to pull off the lids, but they have quite a bit with different labels on there. Some have the scent on there like applewood and oak moss, and then the other one just has a camping theme labeled on there. This one is woodland flannel, and then like you'll see some with mountains and bears. So yeah, I didn't get to smell any of those. They have some cute camping mugs, which I feel like is a must have. So you have a national park themed, happy camper, and a hiking one. I love these canteens. They're going for $5. They have a green and blue one and they feel pretty sturdy. Even the strap on it feels sturdy. So the kids love these. This is something I would definitely get my kids. Now they had camping banners and then this one is interesting. It's like a scratch off map, pretty much to keep up with the national parks that you visited. And then they have books with cabin and national park theme. On the other side, they have Father's Day gifts out. So this is a bottle opener. You have items like ESPN trivia night. I was showing my husband like, look, we won't be able to play that because I can't keep up. <laughs> They also have like neat little gifts um, like this one, which is like a toilet golf game. Um, you have this meat shredder, just like a bear claw thing for all the people that like grilling, smoking meats. And then they have this meat press that says dad on there. I think that's great for like the grill masters, people who love smoking, grilling, all that stuff. These are some cups that they had. So the only two that I spotted was Star Wars and Top Gun. They have these ice cube molds, which has like number one dad or dad in there. You have these two hats that says just tap in from Happy Gilmore and then top dad. They have some board games, which are pretty interesting. So this is tic-tac-toe. I never seen it like look like this before. And then the other one is shut the box game. And this last one is horse dash game. It's a tongue twister. All right, these are shot glass holders. So you have one in the shape of a van, you have an airplane one, and then the last one is a golf cart. I guess if like your dad isn't a fan of drinking, or maybe it's like for a barbecue or something, that would be neat to put on top of a table. I was trying to figure out what this was, and it's an ice bucket. <laughs> and so, like, not only do they have the dad stuff on here, you have the Fourth of July stuff on there, which is pretty early. So this is like yard games, family reunion stuff, 4th of July, you can use this stuff. I was trying to figure out for the longest what this was, and I guess it's a finish line for relay races. I don't know, because that material was pretty thick. And these are little tr fun trophies. So you have the goat, you have, uh, I think the other one says like, this isn't my first rodeo. And then you have a chicken, which says winner, winner in the back. All right, these are for like the ring tosses, which I should have got this. I think like my kids would love that. And, you know, different activities you can use in the summer. Again, this stuff is really aimed at 4th of July and grilling. So you have the glow wand sticks. And I was trying to figure out what this was. And it's a butter dispenser. I guess you put the butter stick in there and you just rub it on. I don't know. It seems like unnecessary mess. I like this one. This is burger sleeves and then they have like a basket liner. Um, again, stuff for grilling, eating outdoors. They have these baskets. I feel like you can use those baskets on so many different occasions. Family get togethers, barbecues. It doesn't necessarily have to be 4th of July. I should have never touched that star because all of them started shifting. <laughs> but those are star shaped water bottles. They come out with this stuff every year, like the light up scrunchies and the headbands again for 4th of July. They are putting this stuff out so early. All right, next up we have the condiment holder. So you have a star covered van and literally a hot dog. This is a tray for s'mores. As you can see, it has the different compartments, but I do want to show you that the tray actually isn't that deep. So I'll just keep that in mind. And these are pretty much uh, 4th of July themed kitchen towels, I guess. All right, on the other side, they have different colored glasses that you can use, again, for outings. I thought this was pretty neat. You can cut your fruit in different shapes, just like the picture shows. That is a really good buy. 
This is a Lazy Susan that's colorful. Again, you can use that for outdoors. And I wish that I paid attention. I accidentally bumped into someone behind me, but those are something you can put your pre-sliced um, tomatoes and avocados in. So you can like put it in the refrigerator. I thought that was a really neat buy. I have one for my onion. All right, this is an electric citrus juicer, which I've seen in Target spot before. And those are just trays and towels and like different color pictures at the bottom. This is a produce bag. My husband was trying to hold it up so I can show you guys. And this is like those waterproof phone cases that Fire Below has, but this is smaller and it's only a dollar. I feel like this would be the perfect size. You know, you're going to the pool, the beach. They are very, very useful and it's just a dollar. They have some new water bottles. I showed you guys Walmart's version. So this is Target's version. They have the watermelon and the popsicle. Again, this is really cute for the summer. And they have their beach and pool items out. So this is a sand sifter. If your little ones like to try to find shells, sand dollars, even like the shark teeth, that is a great buy. And so this is just the rest of the items. Like I said, it's a mixture of beach and pool items. You still have some bubble blowers, some light up stuff. So not so bad. Now look at this. I picked this up and I was like, where is the lie? Stuff my kids make me carry. <laughs> This is a Barbie journal. I think it's pretty cute. You can find similar stuff at Five Below. It looks similar to the journals that they have there with the tabs at the top. They also have some keychains from popular shows like Friends, popular, you know, characters like Barbie. So I thought these keychains were pretty cute if you're into that type of thing. They have a rhinestone kit. And I seen like Yesterday, I seen a YouTuber and she put rhinestones on a Sol de Janeiro bottle and I was like, wow. So there's a lot of people that are into arts and crafts and they can make things look beautiful. They have a little bit of a sprinkle for like Mother's Day items, some new water bottles. Now, I showed you guys some traveling stuff at Five Below and Target has their stuff. So this is a sunscreen container, but it has a secret compartment where you can put money, your keys, whatever you need. And there, that's only for $3. This is like a little container for like beauty items. And they have the folding hangers, just like I showed you at five below. So really just look around and see which one is cheaper. The same collapsible bottles. Now they do have like these shade cases and look how thin they are. This is going for $3. And I'm like, how would I put my shades in there? Like, how are they going to fit? They have strawberry pillows, just like five below. So again, if you shop at both places, do your price comparison. These are hair accessory organizers, and this is for scrunchies, which I thought is pretty neat. That stuff can get overwhelming. I was trying to figure out what this is, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this before and thought, what is this? Like the same as last time, and I, I think it's a dinosaur or a chicken nugget. <laughs> This is like a little storage that looks like a boombox stereo and then they have some wedding stuff. Um, you know, people, I feel like they get married all season long, but there's certain times where Target puts out a lot of bridal and wedding stuff. They have stuff for games. So that was pretty much it for the dollar spot section. On to the pop culture stuff. For Funko Pop, of course, they have the X-Men 97 stuff. And then they had Bridgerton. And I was like, look at old Daphne. <laughs> I didn't see the rest of them. I just seen her. I thought this was really neat. Speaking of Netflix, this is a official Netflix cooking book. They have recipes from your favorite shows, foods that you've seen, or drinks that you've seen in your shows, movies, they have it in here. That's Squid Games. So yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. And so I'm just flipping through to show you guys what kind of stuff you can find in here. So this is from Family Reunion. Me and my kids love watching that show. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I'm watching something, like if I'm watching a K-drama, it makes me crave Korean food. So this would be interesting to like, if you know you're watching a show to make a food from there. Definitely cool for like a watch party. They also have an unofficial Disney cookbook. It's three in one, like a box set. So you have Epcot in there, Disney Parks. Obviously, I couldn't show you guys because this has, you know, plastic wrapping on there, but I'm really interested to see what they have in there. 
For all you Taylor Swift fans, she has a whole end cap dedicated to her new album. And then this section is pretty neat. This is something new. Now, obviously, they always have like the oldie pop culture items in Target, but this is like a section dedicated to it. I definitely remember Batman the Animated Series. They have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So this is like collectibles from NECA and they have old stuff guys i'm telling you this is like a collector's dream right <laughs> um so do you guys remember that disney show i always pronounce it gargoyles and my husband's like what it's gargoyles <laughs> i don't remember there being a baby on there i don't know it's been a while so you can definitely get some good collectibles from your favorite shows and movies from target and speaking of favorites, you know everybody's talking about the X-Men 97. They have some toys out for that. I've seen some clips of that. I heard Storm got her powers back. I really need to catch up before I get, you know, too far behind. They have some Wolverine claws. You know they were going to bring this out. And then I seen this huge Death Egg playset. The box is huge. Sonic items are definitely still going strong at Target. These are the rest of the Funko Pop. These are the 8-bit versions. Now, I didn't recognize any of these characters except for Spiral, Mojo, and of course, Nightcrawler. Um, that one is pretty cool. But I asked my husband, I was like, who is Roberto? Is that someone new? I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with that character. They also had a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem items. I love the Donatello mask because it comes with the glasses. But they had all the characters from that show so yeah if your little ones are still into that they have the mask there for some cosplay or costume i think this is new this is called nano scene from jurassic park when they first pulled up to it um it literally looks like the scene from jurassic park that's going for 19.99 this is the new clothing that came out for pickleball and guys, this is going to be interesting. So this is a speaker. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you this stuff is pricey in this collection. But the setup looks really nice. If you're not familiar with pickleball is like how I was at first, definitely look it up. It's kind of similar to tennis. But look at the price on this stuff. So this sweater is going for $40. And they have everything in this collection literally from head to toe. So they have, you know, of course, the accessories to play the sport, but let's get into like this clothing. I don't know who put that nasty tissue there. Guys, please stop doing that. I don't know who's doing it in these stores. But anyways, the shirt is $20. This jacket is going for $35. Maybe other people don't think it's pricey, but I think it is because that's the price for the individual items. I don't know if you think it's too pricey, you know, eventually this stuff will get marked down. So there's that. They have the dresses and the dresses I feel like are really cute. But again, $40. This one has an opening for the bag. And let me tell you, playing these sports, you will get hot running back and forth trying to hit that ball. That is $40 as well. So they have shirts, they have the gym bags, the hats. I told you guys it is from head to toe. This is the men's section. So they have collared shirts, uh, regular shirts, shorts, pants, all of that. Um, it's pretty much the same pricing. So the shirts are $20. Um, not that many design, but it looks nice. I just, I don't know. It's a bit much. All right, the hats are pretty much going for $20 as well. Um, I do like this bag. I was scared to look at the price, and it's pretty much around 40 bucks. But I do like it. I think it's cute. Um, these are the hoodies. That's going for $35. Um, yeah, it's kind of like preppy, you know, tennis clothes. <laughs> but for pickleball. These are the dresses uh, that, again, is $40, so pretty consistent with the price. And for the last part, you just have more of, like, the paddles and the balls that you would use. Moving along, when I looked at the weekly ad, I seen that Verst came out with a body butter, so I wanted to check that out. They have a couple of items that are on sale, just by a couple of dollars, it looks like. So this is the retinol body butter that Verse came out with. And because it has retinol in it, this is something that you would use for nighttime. 
gradually build up to everyday use. It's supposed to be nourishing, moisturizing, smoothing, all of that in there. So it's for all skin types if you're interested in that. It also comes in body lotion form. They also have a replenishing one and an exfoliating lotion. Now my husband pointed out these spike drinks. So the lemonade one has strawberry, blueberry, lemonade and watermelon in there i know people are going to be buying this up for the summer that is going for $15.99 they also have the peach spiked one which has mango strawberry kiwi in there as well as the peach and the last one that they have is a spiked limeade that has cherry passion fruit blackberry and of course limeade i feel like these are going to be great for the summer people are going to buy this out that is going for $17.99 i think this whole body deodorant is pronounced loom but they have a men version called mondo and it has some really good scents in there but the first one is bourbon leather and you don't get much of the leather note it's really a cozy vanilla they also have clover woods which is like a citrus wood type of scent and mount fuji is like a fresh airy scent overall these smell pretty good now to the dairy section target has their own cold foam you have salted caramel and vanilla sweet cream sounds pretty good next up we have some bluebell ice cream that gooey butter cake everyone is talking about that it tastes so good i just can't do it i'm trying to watch my video guys and we're pretty much already into summer they also have cinnamon twist salted caramel brownie oh my goodness these look so delicious believe it or not i've never tried bluebell ice cream <laughs> But everybody talks about it and they're talking about this one too. This I love cereal one looks like it has like fruity pebbles in it. They have a pretty good variety. I will probably eventually try that butter cake one. In my Walmart video, I did talk about the new Shea Moisture deodorants that came out. It looks like it's on sale here for $6.99. Um, they look like they have new scents here. So I went over fresh. I went over the even tone one. So they have Manuka Honey and Retina, which smells kind of sweet but still fresh they also have aloe vera and ceramides which is for sensitive skin it has like a lot of green notes in there but very very fresh and for the last one is vitamin e and kukui nut oil this one kind of smells fruity and fresh i would say all of them smell really good i do want to say that it doesn't last that long it's something that i wear at night time now i talked about this olipop before this is very popular it seems like it has a lot of mixed reviews, so just give me your opinion on it. I do want to try it, but I'm just a little bit scared. And for the last item, they have Little Debbie Mother's Day Cakes in Lemon and in Strawberry. Guys, that is pretty much it for my walkthrough. Thank you for watching, and as always, have fun, stay blessed, and happy shopping.